All right, I have now owned this EQS for a full month, and I'm going to give you my honest opinion of this car. I will tell you, I love this car. It has been terrific. I am thrilled to have been driving it. I've had no significant problems. But today I'm going to give you my top three things I like about this car and the top three things that have been a bit of a challenge. I'm going to start with the three things that I really like about this car. And the first one is the driving experience. This car is smooth as any S class and it is quiet and the lane changing features that it has with it as well as the lane keeping features that keep you in the middle of the lane on its own for up to 30 seconds at a time are just phenomenal. So as a driver, the driving experience of this car is absolutely phenomenal. The second thing that I love about this car is the MBUX experience between the Hey Mercedes that will do most anything you want it to, more than any car I've ever owned before, and all of these screens and the options I have on the screens, this MBUX experience is just terrific. The third thing that I love about this car is the driver's experience. The seats are very comfortable, the massages, the heating, the cooling of the seats, and these pillows right here that just make driving an absolute pleasure are just terrific. And those are the top three things that I like about this car. But there are some things of, with which I have a challenge. The first one I call the ghost shadow. Frequently, at least three or four times, I've been backing into my driveway and the car has just slammed on the brakes. Red triangles pop up because something's in my way when there's literally nothing there. And I've determined that's because it sees the shadow of my car portrayed from the lights across the street and it perceives that something's there and my car just stops on a dime, which is inconvenient when I'm by myself and absolutely embarrassing when I'm with other people. The number two thing that I have challenges with this car are the things that aren't on it. This car was advertised to have comfort doors that you could open on the screens or would open automatically for you so you approach, but the supply chain has absolutely killed that feature, at least for the car I got. And so that doesn't happen. And one of the reasons I bought this car was for those features. And so the supply chain has really curtailed some of the things I wanted and was going to get in this car. The number three thing about this car that has bothered me is the dash cam. The dash cam works beautifully, but I started off with this brand new USB-C hub with a terabyte of information on it and it read the car read it for about two days and then just stopped no matter what port i plugged in it wouldn't read it so i went out and got my old eight gigabyte usb stick with the adapter that mercedes gave me and that's been working but it means every few minutes about every 20 minutes it refreshes itself and overwrites the hard drive and so that's been a bummer that I don't understand. And I'm reminded of it every 20 minutes when the screen pops up with a notice saying, the disk is full, we're gonna start overwriting all your files. So that's about it. First month in, three things I love about the car, three things that are still kind of bothering me. But in general, this car has been phenomenal. I get lots of looks as I drive around it is absolutely quiet when I want it to be, and it is as comfortable as an S-Class, which is why I waited to get an electric vehicle until something like this came out. Have a great day.